12 Moves is a Dancing for the Games project. We've had funding for a two and a half year extended project which has various phases from the first part being participatory work delivered by our dance squads through to our second phase which we're now starting which is all to do with the 12 Moves story which is a winter fairy tale based on Worcestershire and will again involve lots of groups participating but will also involve working with our artistic directors who are SDNA, digital artists, Jen Irons, choreographer working behind me and composer Mira Kalix. The first phase was delivery to people who probably wouldn't have had the opportunity to dance before. All sorts of people, all ages, all over the county. Jen is um, one of our participants who have been dancing with us here at the Snoozeland um, from the beginning. I did modern dancing before, that's why I came here to do more dancing because it's been really, really good for me. We're in Malvern, which is in the heart of the Worcestershire countryside, fairly rural, um, but quite close to Worcester city centre. Um, today we've got a dance session for people with learning disabilities. The thing that's fantastic about this group is that it's really um, an integrated dance session, so we get the support workers, the key workers, dancing with the actual dancers as well. So everyone's dancing together regardless of ability or age, which is fantastic. Now we've moved into the artistic phase. We've just had a series of window installations, which was an interactive video um, installation, again based on the 12 Moves story. On Saturday the 23rd of July, which is our Cultural Olympiad Open Weekend, we have got, I think it's about 70 people who are all taking part in a flash mob which is based on the water creatures that feature in our story and them being tracked and how dance is their release. My little girl, she's called Belle. She's 10 years old. She suffers with diabetes. She has a diabetic pump, and that has not stopped her, even though she's been tired. She's been really quite exhausted throughout the week with all the rehearsals, but she's done it. She's enjoyed it. She's taken so much from it. She's got herself a huge amount of confidence. And I think Jen, the choreographer, has been an inspiration to her. She's been lovely and she's really enjoyed it. So when we get to the new site, we want to go back to this section just so we've got it figured out, okay? We've got four flash mobs going on all over Worcester. So one was in Worcester, we've got two in Droitwich and one uh, at the end of the day today in Butley. And basically what's been happening is 67 people pretend like they're not doing anything. And then one by one or group by group, they start to do some weird movement and then they all come together and generally bounce around for three and a half minutes. It was good because you saw lots of people's different reactions. I come from a little village and there was lots of people today to see what we can do. We're here at the University of Worcester on a rainy um, Sunday, two weeks before Christmas, and there's stop motion camera going on. The dancers were here earlier doing all their set pieces and silhouette dancing as well. Uh, the makeup girls are, are here on work experience. The purpose of filming the dance groups today has been to uh, contribute to the content that will be shown during 12 Moves After Dark. We're taking three arches in Crossroad Car Park for a grand projection and sound and dance performance on the 24th of March. Who here has a favourite book? Well, this is my favourite book. This book never leaves me, for it is the book that was discovered by my side when I was found all washed up on a lonely riverbank in this county in the year 1838. I play the part of the collector, Robert Fletcher. He was abused when he was a child by, in the workhouse, so he didn't really have much of a life. And it got him into a world of collecting all sorts of things, anything and everything he collected, and they became his life, up to a point where he was kind of ostracised by society. The, the people in this, they're very judgmental of this man, none of them are talking to him, they all avoid him, so it's, it's, I think it's going to be a bleak 
a, wa a wacky, bleak view of this man's life. So looking forward to it. 12 moves, take four. Today we filmed the um, choreography group. They've been working on a window performance for the past four weeks and performed uh, this weekend, uh, last weekend, for a Christmas fair in Worcester and Tenbury Wells. I'm here to watch the 12 Moves project, um, watching an exciting piece of dance in a, a shop window. It's created a lot of interest. Hats off to these performers who really enjoy what they do and so much talent. And it really has brought dance out into the community. at all the different dance pieces that have been going on for the last few weeks all throughout Worcester and we've been pulling out elements from each one that fit with the story so there's elements of what they've done in all of their shows that will end up in the finale and in the main film. We filmed silhouettes using a white back backdrop and backlighting to give a uniformity to the imagery we also used techniques such as stop frame animation, so we had animal scarves crawling around the ladies' uh, necks. We've been filming, taking photographs at Worcester Museum of an old Victorian collection, natural history collection. It's all going to be part of the visuals. We also uh, made up six animated uh, water creatures, which uh, will feature in the film they form part of the story of this uh, obsessive collector who come across to these water creatures who inspire people to dance. So while they're in captivity, the people lose their ability to dance and all the uh, county becomes very sad. Uh, and the release, of course, um, during the performance of the 12 moves, um, free the inhabitants of the county to be happy again and start dancing again. Here we are in Malvern at the last of the 12 Moves Road Shows, which is the lead up to our very final day on Saturday, 24th of March, which will be 12 Moves After Dark. This is one of four roadshows which are showing both dance fest groups, 12 moves groups and local dance styles. We've been aiming to get 12 different styles of dance at each of the roadshows that have been in Kidderminster, Redditch, Pershaw and Malvern. <laughs> part in the 12 Moves project. We've been doing it for over a year now because we did the flash mobs back in July last year and it's just been very nerve-wracking hasn't it to yeah, do it today. Yeah, very rewarding experience but has been uh, very nervous isn't it? We wanted to make a good impression and yeah. show ourselves off to everyone and make it known that everyone can join in and dance. Yeah and hopefully some of the people today will come on the 24th to be involved in that as well. We're hugely looking forward to our grand finale. It'll be a day of celebration bringing together both participants and new audiences for dance. <laughs> To be 
featuring salsa, Chinese lion dancing, we've had street dance, we've had tango, we've had everything that you can imagine. And what we're trying to do is take dance out to the people. So you're just doing about your shopping and you get to see some ink, you join in, you wiggle your hips. We certainly had quite a hardcore of, I'd say, about a thousand people today. And that's just the start of the day. We've then got the huge privilege of being one of the first arts projects to do anything in the Hive, Worcester's brand new cultural centre, library, history centre. Twelve Moves at the Hive is um, a promenade performance involving 75 children from seven schools across Worcestershire who are coming together as one company. They have been rehearsing at their own school with the dance squad, the Twelve Moves dance squad, and prior to that they made installations based on the Twelve Moves story which are here in the Hive. A huge amount of work has gone into the project. We started working with schools from last September, um, inviting them to be involved. The teachers at the schools have been fantastic. They've been really, really enthusiastic. Each school has worked independently with a visual artist to create the installations and then with the art dance squad as they've been in to create the dance pieces. I wrote the story, I wrote the script for 12 Moves at the Hive and it's just fantastic to see the story brought to life today. All credit to the actors, the dancers too. I think the, the narrative and the story of the performance was a really, really good idea to have people moving through the spaces and, uh, you know, get them interacting and, you know, have the narrator kind of channeling people through the, through the various parts of the foyer was just interesting and I think uh, really useful so that people know that this is, a, you know, not just a library but also a great performance space. It's been a magnificent team effort and I think as well the venue, the whole artistic personnel involved. I think it's been a world-class project this and I think it shows that what we can do in Worcestershire when we work all together and I can't wait to tonight and seeing the work of Dance Fest, SDNA and the projections but it's been a great day at the Hive. We have a Breathe the Beat roadshow taking place as a warm-up on Croft Road Car Park for the huge projection of the film 12 Moves After Dark. I thought 12 Moves After Dark was really good. Um, I liked how it was all put together, choreographed, and all just made into that big film on the viaducts. It was like extraordinary, and there were trains going over, and it was just everybody was there, and there were people in the crowd like actually doing the 12 Moves, and it was just really good to actually like be a part of it. Well, I find it really uh, relaxing actually and I found it really good to be outdoors and um, just walk down a few, well, ten minutes down the road and come and see something completely different. I just enjoyed the whole thing, the way it built up to a sort of crescendo at the end. This was quite a revelation for Worcester I think really. I've, I've not seen anything like this, a sort of art event like this in Worcester before and uh, I think Worcester could do with a lot more of this sort of stuff, it was really creative. It's just been brilliant today and to see our children take part in such a huge activity and event and to be included. No matter how small their part, they're all made to feel special and that's what it's all about. It's done a lot for their confidence. And 12 Moves has been, it, it's all been really great. I can't pick a best bit because it was, it was just all something different and it just got you out the house. 12 Moves just outlived any expectations. Absolutely fantastic. I'd just like to say a huge, huge thank you to everybody who has supported and funded this project, without whom we could never, ever have done a project on this scale. And I think it will be remembered as a project that has touched so many people in so many ways, from participants to audience. So, huge thank you.
Thanks for 12 million dollars, Fresh. You've been great.